major drug trafficking operations broken up and nearly two dozen arrested and thousands of grams of cocaine, heroin and meth were taken off our streets. The Hamden District Attorney Anthony Galuni detailing the operation that followed a summer of violence in what officials say is a dangerous area of Springfield. Western Mass News reporter Wesley Days was at the press conference for us and has more details. And Wesley, those arrests are just the beginning. They are indeed, Chris and Abby. Co-conspirators of the already 20 people charged with a variety of charges will also face similar consequences. I'm frustrated for the residents of that area who, as I said, by and large are decent people who don't want to hear gunshots at night. New findings tonight on an operation aimed at tackling violence in a Springfield neighborhood. Operation High Schools Out focuses on the high school and Union Street areas, an area notorious for criminal activity. Hamden District Attorney Anthony Galuni details why this mission went into place. In the summer of 2023, the high school and Union Street area of the city of Springfield erupted in a wave of violence. This area became the most troubled and problematic area of the city. According to Galuni's office, from July of 2022 to June of this year, police received 118 shot spotter activations, 89 calls for shots fired, 23 for firearm possession, and 45 reports were filed for aggravated assault. A major part of this landscape has been two rival drug trafficking organizations engaged in a violent and deadly armed turf war that sought control of the lucrative heroin, fentanyl, and cocaine market in this area. Now, the Springfield Police, alongside the Hamden County Narcotics Task Force, is focusing on getting rid of those rings. So far, their work has led to 20 arrests, with many of those suspects facing serious crimes, ranging from conspiracy to commit murder to trafficking with the intent to distribute. They've also been able to seize 10 kilograms of cocaine, a half a kilogram of heroin and fentanyl, 58 grams of methamphetamines, 20 firearms, and over $400,000 in cash. The district attorney adds investigations like these help propel peace. We must stand up for those who can't do so for themselves. And you haven't heard the full story yet. We're talking about getting answers. We went from the DA's office on Main Street all the way down to school streets, less than a mile, but we went there to get schooled on the situation in the area. You'll hear more of my conversation with one community outreach center tonight at six. Reporting live in studio, Wesley Days, Western Mass News.